much for her and she loves her ice cream as well so that's gonna be so much fun for her so yummy so I'm excited for her to see one with probably a wall piece um, versus a um, a scarf to go with her other um, ice cream theme uh, that we did a while ago which was the ice cream with the flowers um, and this one's our ice cream with uh, the elephant in the room. <laughs> um, we've got our cherry strawberry mix of ice cream. We have our chocolate and we have a Porsche your yummy yummy peach vanilla. And we've got the little baby elephant in here um, slurping up the ice cream that drips down. sitting there under her mama slurping up the ice cream here that falls down as her mommy grabs the cherry for her Her big little feet, and then of course with silk we always want to pull it back so that it's drying enough. Um, and we'll get to a close up here. And elephants have really wrinkly skin. everything that we avoid when we get older. <laughs> um, we're going to get her so we'll add some of that texture, her wrinkly kind of skin there. And then of course we need to get her ear in here, a nice cute little ear, so important. Her elephant. So adorable. Finish that off with some really cute touches here. Kind of going back through. So we have your nice, really glass bowl here. We're going to pull this back so that it dries. Because when you start to paint on silk, it's like watercolor. So it's going to be controlled by how much water or dryness of your brushes and then it just kind of naturally spreads and it kind of teaches you that just like in life you can't control everything but you can make it beautiful and to trust the process 
um, of your watercolor. There's really no mistake. So if you are trying it for the first time on silk, just remember that have fun and let the color spread where they may spread on the fibers. So we're going to add just a little bit more um, shadowing to the spoon here, the yummy spoon. And then to top off our yummy Sunday, you always need sprinkles. So, and my daughter loves sprinkles on her ice cream. So we are going to do the sprinkles, the rain sprinkles here. We got green, we got some blue sprinkles, some pink sprinkles, some purple sprinkles. I'm gonna just kind of do like a rainbow of colors on the brush here. And I'm gonna put this down a second. Just top this off with the famous sprinkles to the ice cream. Rainy, beautiful colors, and I will do a close up so you can see how fun that is. I got a few more on there, especially the pink and put some more blue in there. Green, purple. So again, like a rainbow of colors. And we are going to have it rain sprinkles all over our ice cream sundae. All right. So we're going to pull it back so it can dry. A little bit more chocolate to our chocolate sundae here. Purple ice cream. I'm gonna finish off with just, just a little bit of depth here and um. We are going to name it Raining Sprinkles. Um, and I'm going to be adding a little bit of some really pretty yellow, peach, vanilla color here. Um, raining Sprinkles. We'll go for some uh, eyelashes because if you look at all of them, they do have eyelashes, and then we have the amazing ivy. And we are going to actually make our little elephants with a hint of. And we're going to add a little hint of blue for their eyes. I think my daughter will love that. As you can see are really fun sprinkles that you always need on your ice cream sundae 
we have our baby mama elephant enjoying the rain sprinkles Sunday, getting ready for summer. <laughs> 